The term embarrassment of riches comes to mind when we look ahead at the games that are coming out in the future. Major sequels are being developed, long dormant and beloved franchises are coming back, talented and lesser known studios are making big waves, exciting new properties are looking to make a splash. There's a deluge of major releases scheduled for the next couple of years. Here, we're going to take a look at a few games coming out in 2022 and beyond that we're more than a little excited about. God of War Ragnarok after reinventing God of War in the best way possible in 2018, SIE Santa Monica is coming back with a sequel that's promising an even bigger and better adventure. Kratos and Atreus are facing the threat of Ragnarok, and with the sequel promising to bring the series' Norse saga to a close, we can't wait to see how this leg of their journey will wrap up. Alan Wake 2 Remedy Entertainment has been waiting to make a proper Alan Wake sequel for quite some time, and now the developer is finally ready. The writer is coming back, and with Alan Wake 2 being a full-fledged survival horror game, there's more than enough reason to be excited about what his next adventure is going to look like. It's currently scheduled for 2023, and it's going to be a long, long wait. Fable Fable never quite reached its full potential when Lionhead Studios was making new games in the series, but even so, Microsoft's action RPG franchise has its fair share of fans, and with Forza Horizon Studio Playground Games shouldering the responsibility of bringing the series back, we're curious to see how successful this comeback will be. There's no word yet on when Fable is going to launch, but whenever it does, it's going to be worth keeping an eye on. Faith of Donshant Hereafter Faith of Donshant Hereafter is definitely one of the lesser known games in this list, but one look at it should tell you why it's piqued our interest. Developer Beijing Joy Fun's action RPG is promising fast combat and slick movement in a fantastical world based on Chinese mythology, and if it brings all of those elements together in a cohesive and satisfactory faction, it could end up being quite a special game. Black Myth Wukong Black Myth Wukong made big waves when it was first unveiled, and with every new showing, the Souls-like action RPG has looked better and better. And we're not just talking about the visuals, which of course look spectacular. From large-scale boss fights to beautiful environments, from exciting traversal mechanics to punchy combat, Black Myth seems to be shaping up very well, and we're excited for when we'll finally be able to play it. Redfall Arcane Studios has mastered the art of crafting excellent immersive sims over the years, and now with the full backing of Xbox Game Studios, the developer is ready to take the next step forward. Open world co-op shooter Redfall made plenty of waves at E3 2021 thanks to its premise and the fact that you're going to be taking on a formidable army of vampires. More than that though, we're curious to see how Arcane will translate the style of gameplay it's always been known for into a full-blown open world environment. The sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. This one obviously had to be in there. Breath of the Wild is one of the greatest games of all time, and while there are question marks over whether Nintendo will be able to capture that same lightning in a bottle again with its sequel, the fact remains that even if it doesn't do that, even if it's just more of the same, it's going to be an excellent game. We're not entirely confident that the game will be able to hit its intended 2022 launch window, but we really hope it does, because this is one of the most exciting upcoming games right now. Project Relic South Korean developer Project Cloud Games is a tiny team of less than half a dozen people, but you wouldn't be able to guess that by looking at Project Relic in action. The Souls-like action RPG is still a ways off from launch, but based on what we've seen of it so far, it seems to be striking the right balance between taking cues from genre giants and carving out its own identity. We're hoping to see more of it in the near future because so far, it certainly piques our curiosity to say the very least. Baldur's Gate 3 Larian Studios has established itself as one of the best CRPG developers in the industry, and with Baldur's Gate 3, the studio is looking to reach new heights. In its early access period, Baldur's Gate 3 has already impressed players, and if the game makes good on the lofty promises that the developers have been making, it might just be able to do justice to the series' immense legacy. 
There are still question marks over whether it'll be able to launch in full in 2022 though, so let's all keep our fingers crossed. For Spoken. New IPs are always exciting, especially when they're being fully backed by major AAA publishers, and Forspoken has done quite enough until now to grab attention. Promising unique combat, a massive open world, and adrenaline pumping movement, Square Enix's upcoming action RPG has all the elements in place to deliver something special. Whether or not it can actually do that remains to be seen, but either way, it's definitely got our attention. The Wolf Among Us 2. The original The Wolf Among Us remains one of Telltale's greatest games ever to this day. So when Telltale was reformed and a sequel to the game was announced, there was plenty of excitement surrounding it. We've heard literally nothing about it since then, but hopefully Telltale will begin lifting the curtain on it in the near future. If The Wolf Among Us 2 can recapture its predecessor's magic, it'll be worth keeping an eye on. Wu Chang Fallen Feathers this is one that Bloodborne fans are going to want to keep an eye on. Developed by indie Chinese studio Lin Zi Games, dark fantasy action RPG Wu Chang Fallen Feathers is promising a hard-boiled souls-like experience set in a world based on Chinese mythology. We got to see an extended look at gameplay earlier in 2021, and since then, we've been desperate to see more of it. If the game can manage the level of quality that it exhibited in that gameplay reveal, it could end up being quite a big release. Final Fantasy 16. How long has it been since we got a traditional high fantasy setting in a Final Fantasy game, or a single player Final Fantasy game at least? Final Fantasy 16 would have been an exciting release no matter what, but the fact that it has that kind of a setting makes it doubly so, especially with a sizable chunk of FF14's development team working on it. Square Enix has gone awfully quiet about the action RPG since first unveiling it, but even that first trailer was more than enough to send our anticipation through the roof. Avatar Frontiers of Pandora the Avatar game has been a long time coming, and in 2021, they finally unveiled it. Avatar Frontiers of Pandora is promising a first-person open-world adventure that fully leverages the power of new-gen hardware, and with an elevator pitch like that, it's impossible not to be intrigued by what the game will deliver. We still haven't seen an awful lot of it, and there's every chance that it will get delayed, but either way, this one is definitely on our radar. Hollow Knight Silk Song. The wait for Hollow Knight Silk Song has been a torturous one, not just because of how long it's been, but also because developer Team Cherry has said next to nothing about the game in the past year or so, if not more. And yet we can't help but be excited about it, because if it's even half as good as its predecessor was, it's still going to be one of the best games ever made. We can't confidently say that Silk Song is going to be out anytime soon, because We've said that before and been totally wrong, but we sincerely hope it does. Starfield. It's been a while since Bethesda re-released a single-player RPG, but Starfield, which is the developer's first new IP in what feels like forever, has the potential to be one of the studio's best ever outings. Admittedly, we're basing that on very little right now, and though we're certainly excited about what Bethesda has said about the game so far, we do want to see actual gameplay footage to see how it's shaping up. If it can deliver on the developer's lofty promises though, it'll surely be one of 2022's best games. Dead Space Dead Space fans have been starved for too long, and while we're still not getting a new entry in the series, we are at least getting the next best thing. EA Motive is remaking the original game from the ground up, and with the promise of improvements to gameplay, visuals, and story, it's got serious potential. Survival horror fans have been treated to some excellent games of late, and hopefully Dead Space will be another one of those. Elden Ring Alright, an obvious pick, Elden Ring would have deserved a place here even if it was just another regular new From Software game, but the fact that it's got such exciting ambitions makes it that much more intriguing. An open world designed by the masters at From Software, crammed with the sort of gameplay genius that the studio has always been known for, it's hard not to be hyped about something like that. 
It helps, of course, that based on what we've seen so far and based on our own hands-on time with the game, Elden Ring is shaping up really, really well. Gran Turismo 7 Gran Turismo has had a few off years, and even though GT Sport eventually managed to turn things around and deliver a solid racing sim experience, fans of the series have still been desperate for a more traditional mainline entry in the series for quite some time. With GT7, it looks like that's exactly what we're going to get, and everything that Polyphony Digital and Sony have shown off so far has looked quite promising, to say the very least. Forza Motorsport Yeah, of course, Forza Motorsport 2 is gearing up for a major new release. Turn 10 Studios is billing the next installment in the series as a reboot, promising improvements on all fronts and a rethinking of many key components that have defined the series for so long. We've seen next to nothing of the game so far, but if it can come close to delivering an experience on the same level as some of the series' best outings, it's surely going to be a treat for genre fans. Horizon Forbidden West even the early months of 2022 are packed full of major upcoming releases, and Horizon Forbidden West is surely one of the biggest ones of the lot. It's making improvements to combat, traversal, and exploration, and promising a vast and beautiful world full of dangerous and new machines to fight. Based on all the info we have on this game so far, it's looking like it'll build on its predecessor's strengths in the best ways possible, and we're excited to see how effectively it does that. Sinuous Saga Hellblade 2 The original Hellblade surprised a lot of people, but now expectations from its sequel are much higher. Thankfully, so far, it seems like Ninja Theory will be up to the task. Sinuous Saga Hellblade 2 is promising best-in-class visuals and the same profoundly effective storytelling that defined its predecessor, and though we haven't seen too much gameplay yet, what we have seen has looked really good. It seems like we're still a ways off from the game's launch, but even so, it's easily one of our most anticipated upcoming games. Marvel's Spider-Man 2 Insomniac Games has delivered two excellent Spider-Man games in quick succession, so there's no reason to believe that Marvel's Spider-Man 2 will be any different. Due out in 2023, the superhero sequel will see Peter Parker and Miles Morales teaming up against a roster of formidable new villains, and even though that's pretty much all the information we have on the game right now, we can't wait to see how Insomniac improves upon the excellent foundations laid down in the first two games. Marvel's Wolverine of course, Insomniac's got other Marvel stuff in the works as well. Marvel's Wolverine has easily been one of the most surprising new announcements of 2021, and given how expertly the developer captured the spirit of Spider-Man, the excitement surrounding Wolverine is easy to understand. We know next to nothing about the game so far, so our excitement right now is still conceptual. But Insomniac has earned that much trust at this point. Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl Stalker fans have been waiting for a full-fledged sequel for a long, long time, and Stalker 2 itself had to jump through a ton of hoops before it could finally begin development. But if what we've seen of the open-world survival horror shooter so far is any indication, it's going to be well worth the wait. Due out in April for Xbox Series X and S and PC, this has potential to be one of 2022's biggest games. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic the original Knights of the Old Republic remains one of the best RPGs ever made to this day, so its remake is going to have plenty to live up to, to say the very least. So if the studio can recapture the brilliance of the original game and modernize the experience for a new generation, they might just be able to strike gold with this remake. Pokemon Legends Arceus Pokemon's lack of ambition and unwillingness to change has earned it plenty of well-deserved criticism in recent years, but with Pokemon Legends Arceus, it might just be able to finally break the mold and deliver a meaningfully unique experience. Given the series' track record, there's some understandable skepticism out there whether it'll be able to do that, but if it does, and if Pokemon Legends can successfully establish a new direction for the series, it'll be a momentous release. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League 
Rocksteady has certainly taken its sweet time with its next release since 2015's Batman Arkham Knight, but Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League seems to be making all the right promises right now. Set in an open world metropolis where you play as four distinct characters with unique movesets and abilities and actually fight against the Justice League itself, it's impossible not to be intrigued by that premise. The gameplay reveal trailer looked encouraging as well, so we got high hopes for this one. Gotham Knights While the Suicide Squad takes on the Justice League in Metropolis back in Gotham, the Bat family is reeling with the loss of Batman and going up against the Court of Owls. Again, with the promise of four distinct characters, each with their own strengths and abilities, Gotham Knights has the potential to deliver an engaging, varied open-world action RPG, and what we've seen of it so far has certainly piqued our interest. Here's hoping the actual game manages to do that as well. Sonic Frontiers Sonic fans have been waiting for the series' next step forward for quite some time, and with Sonic Frontiers, it looks like the iconic blue blur has bigger ambitions than ever. The concept of a Sonic game set in a vast open world has inherent appeal, and the idea of being able to zip through a massive world designed around the idea of speed is an exciting one. If Sega can pull this off, there may very well end up delivering one of the best 3D Sonic games ever. Here's hoping it lives up to its potential then. So what are your thoughts on this? Go ahead and share them in the comments below, and if you liked the video, please subscribe to the channel and enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon to get new video updates. We upload every day and would really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching.